Pelotonia is what I say. And it's a, you know, what does it mean? It's a, it's a Peloton. It's a group effort. And that's what this is all about. Uh, 6,000 plus riders with one goal, and that's to end cancer. A simple concept, a bicycle ride to raise money to fund cancer research. With Pelotonia, 100% of every dollar raised goes directly to cancer research. Yeah, I would just call it a, a win, win, win. There's no downside to this thing. I mean, you, you as you prepare, it's very healthy, um, and, and you're looking forward to helping the cause. Um, it, it's a great event. And, Millions and millions of dollars are raised, so there's really, really no downside. The wonderful thing about the Pelotonia ride is it's not a race, it's a bike ride. And it's a bike ride designed to fit whatever your skill level might be and whatever the quality of the equipment that you have to participate. You will see people on that Saturday riding 20, 30 year old bicycles, uh, as well as very, very expensive bicycles that far surpass the quality of my own. Pelotonia offers an array of different rides and they also provide an array of opportunities for people to participate. So whether you want to ride, it doesn't matter whether you're a novice or you're an experienced rider, they have a ride for you. If you can't ride or you don't want to and you just want to donate, they can take care of you there too. Or if you want to volunteer, they got you covered there as well. But you're, you're riding with thousands of your closest friends that day. Um, so you're really safe, it's a fully supported ride. If something would happen, you'd have to get a flat tire or a mechanical problem. You'll have help there in just a few minutes. There are signs and signals of you know, pointing out potholes and um, when to stop, right turn. Uh, every intersection in the event is covered by um, police or, or sheriff personnel. Choose your route, customized to your ability with help every step of the way. Pelotonia sets you up for success. All that's left is to find financial sponsors to help end cancer. It's the only fundraiser that we've been a participant of as a corporation that has this individual fundraising contract. Essentially, when you sign up for Pelotonia, you give them your credit card, you guarantee you'll raise the money, and it's not a trivial amount of money. I don't like asking people for money just like no one else no one else does um, but when you when they know that you're you're vested as well it's a little easier to re reach out and ask for that and again since the dollars are going to the hospital that's in your backyard my backyard it's pretty easy uh, to, to, to send those emails to your circle of friends we also have multiple opportunities to participate in other fundraising activities at the company. So whether it's selling pretzels or pies for the 4th of July or casual days, there's a multitude of different ways that you can actually raise funds for your particular rider account. So really hasn't been much of an issue. If you actually put the effort out there, it will work for you. We have fundraisers here uh, in the building and around the company to help with that. And uh, I think most people would be amazed at how family and friends are just willing to help because it's such a worthy cause. Corporate funding covers all of the overheads and expenses for running the uh, Pelotonia event, which means that every dollar that is raised through fundraising and uh, the efforts of the riders, all of that money goes directly towards cancer research at the James, 100% every penny. The Friday night event is it's down at the Columbus Comets, and there are literally thousands of people that have all the riders, but there's maybe 3,000 volunteers. There are survivors. There's just thousands of people. There's great energy. If you haven't registered and you go to that event, I pretty much guarantee you will be registering the next year. It is that motivating. But you want to actually get on your bike that evening and go out. It's that motivating. I was amazed at the number of people, um, amazed at the positive carnival-like atmosphere um, that was so positive and all the volunteers um, ringing bells and hooping and hollering and just making it incredibly positive. It's where everybody comes to hear the uh, hear words of wisdom from guest speakers, uh, catch up with their teams, um, see some of the survivors, uh, take the group pictures and basically get ready for what becomes a, an emotional two-day event with the bike ride. 
Cancer kills hundreds of thousands of people every year. Unfortunately, government funding for research continues to decline. But there is hope. New treatments continue to improve the outlook for cancer patients. This hope is continuing to grow right here in Columbus through Pelotonia. Organizations like Pelotonia are critical to finding cures. Um, cures will take plenty of research and research is expensive and that's why I throw my dollars behind Pelotonia because it's organizations like that that will help us find a cure for all forms of cancer. This particular organization and this, this, this event really is important because it's not just aimed at one type of cancer, but it really does research, support research across the board, and that's really important. So this immunotherapy was really kind of like a, the most aggressive type of treatment possible. And without the research to you know, get that up and running, um, who knows? Who knows where I'd been? In the 70s, testicular cancer was uh, almost a death sentence if you got diagnosed with it. Um, and then by the 90s, uh, it became a 95% cure rate, which means you have a 95% chance of being cured of testicular cancer. That was all because of uh, cancer research. There's been major leaps over the past five years in malignant melanoma research and actual drugs that are effective than there has been in the last 20 or 30. The Pelotonia, like I said, it all goes to research, which I think is, is just great. And it's those strides in the research that they're making that will hopefully one day eradicate this disease. I was able to benefit from that research with all the technology that they have. So I could say that I'm one of the lucky ones that is able to say that I'm cancer free. So those people that commit to the ride and commit to the fundraising, it's very noble. Um, I know economically it's not great. It's hard to rationalize donating money and you know keep it in your pocket. But um, for those people who need it, um, Pelotonia is pretty important. Uh, last year at the 100 mile finish, there was a little boy who had a cowbell. He was waiting for his mother to come around the bend. And it was 6.55, so there was only five minutes left before they, they closed down the track. And they said, okay, the final riders are coming around. We looked, and two riders came around, but they weren't from the Noble Circle. So everybody started to wonder, oh, I guess this is it. And they didn't make it. And then at 6.57, all nine riders came around the bend at the same time. And that little boy was just ringing his bell and the circle was complete. So why do I ride? Not to share these stories of uh, pull up people's heartstrings, but uh, we ride to hear that bell ring. Because cancer is so ubiquitous in how it's affected society, people are moved by this cause. And you absolutely see it on the day of the event. People lining the streets thanking you for your commitment to cancer research. This is something personal to everybody, and everybody can align with and share the goal of ending cancer. We have a significant amount of um, crowd support as you go along the entire course. Uh, you'll be out in the most rural of areas, and you'll see families come out with their children, dogs, you name it. They'll be out there with snacks and food and cheering us on. So it is absolutely motivating to have those folks out there. And as you ride along the route, seeing the survivors root you on. I can remember last year, it was the first year I rode the 100 miles and mile 85, it was getting really, really tough for me. And I came across a guy who was sitting um, off the road to the right. And he had a sign. I said, my wife thanks you. It was, it was incredible. And you know, it just, I, I felt like I was on the first 15 miles of the ride, the last 15. So it was, uh, it, it was a great experience, and I'm just going to keep doing it. You don't have to look at the stats very far to realize that somebody in your family is going to be impacted. So that's truly why I ride. I, I, I feel like it's a little bit of insurance to, to do what you can do for your local hospital. This is where they're going to go. They're going to go to that hospital. So, what, so why not, why not equip that hospital with, with the best talent out there? And that's what this ride does. If you can ride, 
great if you can volunteer, great if you can contribute, great if you can out, be out there cheering, great. But just be part of it. It's, it's something you'll, you'll never forget.